45 seconds to answer the question. If you hear this sound, that means your time is up. Are you ready, ladies? All right, let's start off. Let's begin with Miss Grant, Kaloocan City, Shana Tampon. Hello, good evening. Okay, so my question for today is, do you feel that there are way too many pageants being held in the country? Is this good? or bad? Why or why not? I always believe that beauty pageants has on its own advocacy. May it be for Earth, for world peace, and war, and war and violence. And each pageant give us a platform to share what we can offer to the world. Each girl was given a chance to showcase not just their beauty, but their brain, intelligence, and their advocacy. And with this, let me, an, let me be an ambassador for Miss Grand Philippines, not just to showcase my advocacy, but to help to promote your advocacy in stopping the war and violence in our country and in the world. Thank you. Your judge is Mr. Rafael Casper Vicencio. How can the passion contribute to the upliftment of the country's economy or image? In your own case, how do you think Miss Grand Philippines contributes to the upliftment of the country's progress? Well, for me, it uplifts to the country's progress because I'm here to be able to talk about my platform, which is violence against women. And that's one of the reasons why I fell so much in love with Miss Grand because it's a place where you can talk about the taboo. It's a place where you can be yourself. It's not afraid to break the rules. And that is why I'm here today and I vocalized how much I wanted to be here. And I know I can empower women from around the country even around the entire world. Thank you so much, Michelle. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Miss Grand from Mumbai, Quezon City. Michelle Arceo. Very well said. Our ladies certainly have a lot on their minds. Now, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Miss Grand Tarla. Ms. Francine Reyes. Hold on a minute. Your judge. Do you see that correctly? None other than Ms. Isabella Menin. Good evening. In your opinion, what is the biggest war faced by women globally and how you can be part of its resolution? I am a first-hand victim of sexual harassment and that is my advocacy. Three out of every five women here in Philippines, not just in Philippines but for the whole world, experience sexual harassment. That is why I am here in front of you being the voice of the voiceless victim fighting against sexual harassment and I want to I want the violence against women law to be well implemented here in Philippines and that's why I encourage everyone to speak up and loud and be loud and say no to violence. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tarlock. Vulnerable and sharing your story in the hopes of making other lives better. Wow.
Ladies and gentlemen, our next candidate is Ms. Grant Nueva Ecija. And her judge is Joey Abaca. Hi, Hira. Hi, good evening. Okay, the Philippines has been colonized by various countries through its long history. Do you think we could be better, turn out to be better as a nation if we have not been colonized as a lot? I think that our past contributed a lot to what it is now, to what it is our present. But I firmly believe that we shouldn't be colonized because I am a very... I'm, I, I am a Filipino who really loves my race. And so I think that if we will not, if we are not have been colonized, then we have been preserved our values. And so I think it is the most important part that we should always promote our own and we should love what our own is. And so I hope that everyone should be proud of who they are today, who they are as a Filipino. Thank you. Right on the top, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Grant Nueva Isila. Our next candidate is Ms. Grant Northern Sama. Please come up and take your judge. I can honestly say I am deeply moved by everything that our candidates have, have expressed so far. They are all so heartfelt and genuine. Thank you. Good evening, Ms. Northern Sama. Your judge is Miss Vivian Tan. Good evening, ma'am. The Department of Tourism has just launched its Love for the Philippines campaign. For you, what are the top five things to love about the Philippines? For me, the top five, the first one is actually the people's smile, the Filipino smile. We have genuine smile that gives the warmth to the foreigners that they keep, they make them... They, that smile invites them to visit our country. Another one, our family. Our family welcomes us with warm homes. Whatever tourist spots we have, our family is our home. And another one, our beaches. We are composed of different and many islands. I am from Northern Samar. We are islands. And thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Northern Samar. Well done. Our next candidate is Miss Grant Pampanga, Dinara Moro. I mean, it's true, there's many reasons to love the Philippines, not just one, right? Hello, Miss Pampanga. Your judge tonight is Elizabeth Clancy. If you were to write a book about your life, what title would it be and why? Thank you for that question. If I would like to write a book about my life, it would be an introvert's mind. Because I believe joining a pageant, it's not all about being extroverted. I can be professional and still stand strong and show my advocacy and stand for the people. Because I can share my mind with my creative writing and also my advocacy. Because being an introvert in my life, I face many struggles, such as not fitting in and feeling powerless, not fitting into society. But that's all. Right. watching tonight to step out of your comfort zone and go after your dreams because I'm saying do not limit your dreams go chase after them because tonight you never know this will be your time to speak up and give the girls the confidence that they deserve well said Miss Pampanga 
As the saying goes, if the dream isn't scary enough, it's not big enough. Up next, in the running for her dream, Miss Grand Pancasinat, Rana Lelaine Lopez. Please pick your judge. Racing through the question and answer, wouldn't you agree? You're doing so well. Thank you, you are so tall. <laughs> your judge is Christopher Kong. Good evening. Good evening. In case of war of global proportion breaks out, whose interest in welfare should be considered first priority? Women, children, or the elderly? I believe everyone deserves the right for this. I'm done. Woo! I believe that everyone deserves the right to be or to have the attention that they deserve. And I believe that no one should have or super they should no one should be superior to one or to other people because as Filipinos, we should promote equality because that is what will make us or will create peace and it will make us one. Thank you. Well done, Rana. Up next, we have Miss Kaluya Antique, Jerry Manalo Serio. This is intense for me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Gilead. Oops, I dropped your judge. All right, your judge is Dr. Demi Grace Good evening. Hi, good evening, po. My question is, which profession do you think is in the best position to resolve or stop wars and conflicts? The president, a military general, a doctor, a lawyer, or a priest? I believe that we don't need a position to spread kindness and peace to this world. Because this, even this world is full of uncertainties and misunderstanding. We may have differences and it is inevitable. But I strongly believe that with a constant, with, with a man, constant manifestation of kindness in everything that we do, we have the power to influence others, to spread kindness. And always remember that we are not seeking for a perfect world. But we are hoping for a progressive home. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kaluya Antigua. She has certainly made her province proud. Very well spoken, young lady. And now we're down to our last two candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Ms. Grand Cagayan de Oro City, Nikki Nemura. Your judge is Brian Lynn. Good evening. Good evening. If you were given a chance to come up with your own slogan to promote the Philippines, what would it be and why? It would be to love the Philippines. I think being a Brazilian and Filipina, it makes me love both cultures, both heritages, and two different tra traditions. And so I am proud to say that I love Philippines despite having its flaws. Thank you. Good job, Ms. Cagayan de Oro City. Let's give a big round of applause for Ms. Cagayan de Oro City, everybody. We are down to our last candidate for the question and answer portion. Joining me on stage now is we're twinning tonight, Ms. Adorno Rosano. I too am learning to leave along Your judge is Nancy Gold. Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, my question. 
question is, what do you think is the most urgent problem among Filipino youth sector and how do you plan to address the issue? Para sa akin, Harlan, please. Go, Harlan! Go, B! Para sa akin, ang pinakamanubhang problema ngayon ng mga kabataan ay ang edukasyon. Dahil ang, ed ang kailangan ng mga kabataan ngayon ay ang ed edukasyon para mamulat sa kinabukasan at Naniniwala pa rin po ako sa kasabihan na ang kabataan ay ang pag-asa ng bayan. Oh! Para maging, maging pangdayo tayo, taas na ako dahil Pilipino tayo, kagaya ko, maliit lang ang bansa ko pero pinagmamalaki ko. Oh, good luck. Salamat po. Thank you.